Welcome back. We're here looking at the end of the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, June 13, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start and look at the down NASDAQ. And as you can see, last two days of last week were absolutely horrible. We are just doing the same thing, rallying up towards a resistance level of a, you know, the 200 moving average, the 50 moving average, or the 20 simple moving average have been basically uh, where this market has found massive resistance. We didn't really get all the way up towards the 50 moving average but this time, but we did get to the top of the bullish band and then we basically broke down. So there's a lot of fear out there that um, that uh, the Federal Reserve is going to uh, increase interest rates much faster and much more aggressive uh, than expected. Uh, but that was also known. So this was just a um, uh, bear market uh, rally and uh, we just rallied up towards uh, almost the 50 moving average and then uh, turned around. We are, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD has, is crossing the signal line. That's a bearish indication. Stochastic is also very bearish and the RSI as well. But we are at the 38 in the RSI. So there's not a lot of room to the downside. Usually these markets, uh, if you go way back in time, look at the RSI, every time they get uh, close to 30, they tend to rally. We saw it here, we saw it also over here and so on. So. We may see a stabilization at these levels. If we just write it up here. So last time we broke down, we went all the way down to 11.5K uh, uh, and we are trading at 11.8K. So this may tumble, but breaking below these lows here at this current stage uh, would kind of mean that we would go below the RSI or get really close to below the 30 in RSI, which usually is a, a barrier here and then we technically rally. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this market um, drop down and then go back up towards the 50 moving average and technically go sideways for a period before going lower, if we are going lower. So at this current stage, rallies up toward 50, those have been uh, sold into and the 200 and especially also the 20 simple moving average and the 50 and so on. But at this current stage, kind of expecting a massive barrier here. And this could actually just go sideways for some time before we, we break down. Um, there is going to be an announcement from, from the Federal Reserve, um, uh, whether or not they are going to increase by 50 or 75 basis points. Um, until then, uh, probably going to see this market go uh, going back and forward. If we break the lows here, then we are going to see this market tumble significantly further to the downside. To the upside, even though I don't expect it at this point, uh, 50 moving average traveling this way, that should be uh, massive uh, resistant. But if we break above the 50, then we could head towards the 200 moving average up here. So if uh, the market has basically um, kind of getting used to this environment where the interest rates are going to increase, then we may see it um, surprise that we basically break out to the upside and head towards the 200 moving average. But that is to be seen. At this current stage, we are definitely in a downtrend. And as long as this, uh, um, this environment continues, this is probably where we'll head into the future. So let's look at the uh, S&P 500. It also looks absolutely horrible. We can see that we have rallied up to 50, 20 simple moving average, above the 200 moving average, tested yet again, then the simple, the 20 moving average yet again, and then we have the 50 and now we're dropping like a rock. So yes, also here, there should be a barrier and we may see this market go sideways before tumbling uh, further down to the downside. We're at 37 in the RSI in the daily chart. Stochastic is at the bottom. So we could turn around here and head back up and see something similar to this, even though we are technically in a downtrend. 50 moving average should offer massive resistance and so should definitely that 200 moving average um, offer massive amount of resistance. So 
if we look at the, the Fibonacci retracements for this market, and then we can take it all the way down here, we can see that we are at the 38.2 is right here where we fell um, last time. If we drop below that, then the 50 moving average is down here at uh, 3,486. And then the 31.8 is all the way down here at 3,184. And that is probably as far as this market goes if it drops, because out of this, we should see a massive rally to the upside. If we break above the 50 moving average, then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. MACD has crossed the signal line. Momentum is to the downside. So is the stochastic and so is our size. So went is definitely to the downside, but we are approaching the levels that we tested earlier. So let's look at the Dow Jones. Very similar here. This kind of these indices are all following each other, but we can see that we broke down rally up towards the 50, got rejected, rally up to 20 simple moving average, got rejected, 200 moving average, rejected, and so on. So it's the same story all over again and these moving averages have proven to be significant barriers all the way through so we tested the 50 yet again and again absolutely crushed in the in uh, in the dow jones we went all the way down to uh, 30.6 k and we're at 31.5 k at this current stage so breaking below here well that opens the door to this bottom yet again so there's still room to the downside. RSI is still very low at 36. Stochastic is bearish and MACD is also bearish at, at this point. But also here, we could also see this market just go sideways. A 50 moving average should offer support, resistance, I mean, and so should the 200 moving average. Breaking below this barrier here, well, that opens the door to significantly lower levels. So let's look at the European markets. They also look terrible. Uh, the DAX did rally up towards this level here, which has been uh, uh, significant um, in the past. And then we technically just fell off a cliff. At this current stage, it is this level here, which is roughly at 13.4K, which is important. However, we are at the bottom of the bull in Japan, and usually it tend to get a bounce from there, a small bounce. But the 50 moving average, which is right here, should offer resistance. And so should the 200 moving average and definitely this barrier here. Breaking below this, well, that opens the door to these levels here. So we could see the DAX dropping significantly towards this uh, bottom. And then we'll basically get a double bottom dropping below that. Then we're looking at significantly low levels, probably 11.5, but that is uh, quite far away at this point. In the, R, in the RSI, we're at 40, which is, uh, well, not very low. There's a lot, of, a lot of room to the downside, so we could drop all the way down to this level here before we see a bounce. So that stochastic is very bearish, and so is the so is the MACD. To the upside, this barrier here should offer resistance, and so should the 200 moving average. If you look at the Wix, we can see that, yet again, it is the... 200 moving average that offers a significant amount of support. We didn't really get down there, but it bounced anyway. So at this current stage, it looks like we are going to see this market continuing going higher. And this is just a continuation of this move where the VIX is just building up for some kind of slowly up towards um, higher volatility or um, more fear in the market you just say that macd has just crossed the signal line this is a um, indication that we are momentum is turning to the upside stochastic is uh, bullish and so is the rsi so if we go all the way up to 40 then this should all continue being really really red going forward uh, dropping below the 200 moving average uh, i don't really see that at this current stage but if we do then this level here of roughly 20 then this level here of 18.5 and then down here at 16 but that's probably uh, several months into the future so let's look at the 10 year 10 year has basically made a double top here 
So breaking above this, which I don't really see that we're gonna do at this point, we'll probably drop towards the 50 moving average yet again, and then continue to the upside as the 50 moving average prob uh, showed that it was supportive. So at this current stage, we are at the top of the bullish band, even though, and we are also at the top of the RSI. So we're getting fairly overstretched and overbought, and therefore I expect this to pull back a little bit. MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish, but we're getting approaching uh, overbought conditions. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. Good luck and thank you very much.